ball, teaching nose touch of the ball. Duke has a long history of chasing, biting, and pawing soccer balls. I use this approach to avoid those behaviors from the beginning. Review the nose touch. Introduce a new object to nose touch. until the dog is consistently and eagerly touching the new object high, low, sideways, etc. Yes. Can you touch? Yes. Introduce a second object. Touch. Yes. Touch. Yes. Touch. Yes. Touch. Yes. Touch. Yes. Practice until he's touching this one too. Introduce a third object. In the beginning, he treats this more like a paw target. A moving object is easier to nose touch than paw touch. Switch to a hard ball. This triggers his previous soccer behaviors. Hold the ball high enough that it's easier to nose target than paw target. More practice until he's consistently using his nose. Touch. Yes. Touch. Yes. Only mark if he touches the bottom half of the ball. This teaches a low push position early on. Place the ball between your knees. Yes. Touch. Yes. Touch. Oh. Yes. Touch. Yes. Touch. Yes. 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 He offers a hard upward push. Yes. Oh, good boy. That was awesome. Yes. 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 This will be great for ball control later. A new session, a different ball. It's nice to see that he's now defaulting to a nose touch on the new yes. ball. I drop the touch cue. Yes. Yes. The ball is lowered to start teaching him to get under it for low pushes. Yes. Lowered again. Here, I would place the ball on the ground between my ankles, only rewarding for nose touches on the bottom half of the ball. A larger hard ball, his shoulder to head height, would be introduced at ground level, still being held between my legs. And we would work on shaping harder and harder touches, uncued, until they became a push. See my Tri-Ball Basics video for shaping the push behavior, alignment, and more.